Love Crisis is a song I wrote about pursuing something that you're really passionate about uh, but other people might not necessarily see it the same way that you do. Mine is personally about my music and pursuing that as a full-time career and people's reactions when I tell them that's what I'm doing. I wrote it when I was on tour last year, so there's a few tour references in there. I first came up with the idea for the song uh, with the title. I saw a comedy show uh, a couple of years ago, I think, and it was called Cool Life Crisis. And the title sort of stuck with me a bit, and the overall theme of it as well. And I hadn't decided for ages, I just sort of sat on the title whether it would be a positive song or, you know, a Maybe this is actually a bit of a crisis sort of thing. One night when I was trying to get to sleep at like 2am, um, which is generally when I write the best songs, I was thinking to myself, what the heck am I going to rhyme with crisis? And um, that's when I got the idea for Priceless. And so that kind of dictated the whole feel of the song really. It's just a bit sassy and a bit fun to perform and Break down a hundred and something. Just a little chat is a song that I wrote when I was in a really dark place. And I was a bit stuck, just a bit exhausted, a bit in a rough place. And it just talks about, you know, not so much the light at the end of the tunnel, but um, just the fact that, you know, everyone struggles a bit here and there, and even though it feels really bad at the time, it's not going to stay that way. And the inspiration for the title came uh, from watching the Beauty and the Beast remake and the character Chip. Just any time I'm like down in the dumps of it sort of helps me remember that you know it's not going to last. Forever Never Yours is kind of like the dark horse of the EP. I only included it because I needed, well, I felt like I needed an extra song. I didn't really. I could have just released four, but I, I was kind of a reluctant inclusion because I just cringe at it sometimes because it's so cheesy, sassy, something or other. But it's about first date with a guy and like 10 minutes in maybe he was like I can't believe you're all mine and I was like dude and even though I stuck out the rest of the date in my mind I was just like no not gonna happen when I first came up with the idea of like the title I wasn't really sure how it was gonna turn out and for the most part I'm happy with it and it sounds like it was the majority of people's favorite songs so I guess I can't really complain about including it. Might have to make it a single or something. I just wrote about needing to escape for a bit, needing a break from like, your everyday life, just getting away from you know technology rules in our lives and everything these days. So going out to the middle of nowhere, whether it's on your own or with someone, obviously the song talks about being with someone, but just getting away and you know recharging the batteries a bit really what Hideaway was about for me. It's probably the song that's taken me the longest to write because I literally wrote about one line at a time and we're talking
talking this like every couple of months maybe I would add an extra line to it. If I had the I'm so cool with city lights lit on top of it line and just yeah kept adding to it very very gradually and I actually initially was singing it twice as fast as I do in the final recording and I think it's perfect that I did a rush it because it sort of needs that space to breathe a bit. I actually had the first half of the pre-chorus as well that I hadn't necessarily put them together and the chorus felt really hard for me to write. It was kind of a, let's just chuck this in there that kind of fits, you know, needing to finish off the song, which sounds terrible, but it worked out well in the end. Wish Me Luck is a song that I wrote when I, I knew I wanted to go on tour and I had a specific date in mind and everything and I just couldn't bring myself to start organising it. I hate cold calling, it's just this, planning a tour is massive, it's so daunting and everything and I, as the date was coming closer, I was like I need to hurry up and just start. And so I sat down and I wrote the song and then I picked up the phone and started organising it. I've been listening to a lot of Casey Musgraves, so that's sort of where the sass of the whole EP really started to get unlocked a bit. And I've especially been listening to her song uh, This Town, I think it's called, and how she changes up the beat of it. Um, if you go and listen to that song, you'll know what I mean. And that's sort of where the idea for the stabs and the verses came in. I just wanted to change things up a bit from all my songs because my guitar skills are pretty basic. I'm usually just like strong, strong, strong. So it's nice to add something different, uh, give people a bit of a shock when they first hear it, especially when I play it live because I just go straight into it. 